Hey there everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Imagination Tech. So I built a DIY curing station for less than $15. So if you have a resin 3D printer or are interested in doing resin printing, one of the things you'll learn is that unlike FDM, the prints straight out of a resin printer needs to be cured first with ultraviolet light. And one of the options you can do is just put out your prints out into the sun, but oftentimes you'll need the convenience and reliability of a dedicated curing station. Unfortunately, these curing stations will cost anywhere from $100 and up. So today, I'm going to show you how I built this thing for less than $15. Stay tuned. I found this electric turntable that's used for displaying jewelry, watches, or other items, as well as this nail curing lamp. But the problem is, they weren't really intended for curing resin 3D prints, although they could. And it's quite unwieldy to have to hold the lamp, and even placing it on top of my power bank was a bit clunky. So I opened up Fusion 360 and got to work working on a DIY curing station that could be printed as a single object. I knew I was going to need to adjust the design a lot during prototyping. I opted to enter all the parameters into Fusion 360 and I can use those parameters like variables instead of explicitly entering the dimensions. And I could quickly and easily change my design just by going to modify then change parameters. Say in case I got some measurements wrong or if I just need to improve something in the design. More on that later. With my initial design, I exported it from Fusion 360 and into my slicer and printed the first few layers just to see if I was in the right ballpark with my measurements. Once I was happy, I printed out the whole thing. Okay, it's finished. Let's see how it is. and almost immediately discovered something wrong. The hole for the USB plug was positioned too close to the wall so it was impossible to get the USB plug in. It's a little bit too loose here. I mean, it kind of works, but yeah. And I won't have any wires. I don't have anywhere for the wires to go uh, unless I'm gonna put a USB hub inside here and the placement of this USB will probably should move it somewhere here to the side. So back in Fusion 360 I moved the hole to a more open area and also tried printing this upside down to see if it would print better. Well, the fit is better, but the bottom isn't that good. I still can't reach the switches. I made the gap wider, but it's still a little bit too tight. So maybe we can still adjust that. The USB plug in the bottom was a bit high from where I put the hole. I could move the hole up, or I could just resize the hole so it was taller. After a couple of adjustments and iterations, I finally have a working DIY curing station that was good enough and I was happy with it. Maybe in the future I'll integrate all of the wiring, but for now I'm going to be using this USB hub, but you can use any other USB hub that has at least three ports to power all of our devices. It's by no means perfect, but we are building a quick and cheap DIY solution after all, and maybe sometime in the future I could do another version. But for now, I'm happy with what it is. And there you have it. Now another plus with this DIY curing station is you can take that turntable, you know, without the UV lamps turned on, you can just use it to display your resin prints. Now this curing station is really, really cheap. So if you're not yet fully committed to resin printing, maybe you can just get one of these uh, for 
10 12 dollars is how much i spent for this might be a little bit more expensive depending on where you get your parts right i hope you found this video very useful if you did like this video click on that like button and maybe consider subscribing because a lot of my viewers aren't uh, subscribed yet to this channel and maybe also hit that bell button so you're notified when i put out new videos all right and uh, i also have a patreon link down below in case you want to send me a coffee or you know support this channel so that i can put out more videos like this so i'm going to leave you with that as always keep building and keep flying